Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we discuss about a variable length argument list. So what is exactly a variable length argument list? You might have seen uh, that we have used uh, the printf uh, function quite often in our programs. And if I go and hover my mouse over the printf function, now you can see that uh, the prototype for this function is being shown to me by uh, divc++ my IDE. The IDE is showing the prototype of the printf function and you can see at the end of the prototype you can see those three dots. Those three dots are called ellipses. And ellipses indicates that we have a variable length argument list. So what does it mean? It means that this function can take a variable number of arguments of any type. So it's quite flexible. It can take a variable number of arguments and those arguments could be of any type. Remember that we can only have an ellipsis at the end of arguments of a function. So we cannot have an ellipsis in the beginning, for example. if this uh, function printf has many has many arguments we cannot uh, define uh, the ellipses at the beginning of the printf function usually it always goes at the end of the arguments of a function and there are some macros that we can use them to create variable length argument lists and uh, those macros are included in this standard argument Heather. So let me include this in here. Include stdarg.h, and uh, this is uh, the header that you can see that we have uh, some uh, macros in here, and all of these macros are being defined in this header. Now you can see in here that we have these special types of uh, macros uh, that are defined in this header and these are being used to create variable length argument lists. And uh, you can see that I have a bit of explanation about each one of these macros but rest assured that we are going to cover each one of these macros in the coming episodes. So stay tuned as we go into more details and we'll have some examples of creating variable length argument lists in the coming episodes. Stay tuned!